Good morning. Today is January 4th, 2021. I'm Rob Henderson, and I wish you a happy new year, and I welcome you to this daily devotion. The author of Revelation, so vivid with imagery, writes these words. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. God will dwell with them as their God, and they will be God's people, and God will be with them. To wipe away every tear from their eyes, death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Many years ago on this day, I was awakened by the sound of the phone ringing. It was too early for the phone to be ringing. I knew that much. I didn't yet know that phone calls that come this early never contain good news. I was in elementary school at the time. And we had gone back to class on Wednesday the 2nd, which was too early to go back to school. Winter break had not been long enough. The day was bit bitter as I ventured out into the hallway of my parents' home to see what was happening, what the phone call meant. I was caringly taken back to my bed and tucked back in, assured that nothing was wrong. Later in the day, I would learn that my grandfather had died that morning on his way to work. I didn't see a new heaven and a new earth that day, although it was as if the first had passed away in this early experience of the death of someone I had loved so much. I remember being so full of questions about life and death and heaven and earth, I remember the adults in my family and in my church family all being so patient with my curiosity. I remember the hugs. I remember most of all sitting with my brothers and my cousins at my grandmother's home working out all the details, all those important details that our parents left out. A teacher asked her class as a New Year's project to draw a picture of something that they were grateful for as this new year began. Several drew pictures of their pets. One little girl, a picture of chocolate, another of her house, one boy of his family. When the last boy was asked to share his picture, it was a picture containing a hand. The teacher asked whose hand he was thankful for, but he was a bashful young man, and so the teacher asked if they could guess whose hand it was. And so the class began to guess. It is his hand one offered. No. It is his mom's hand. No. It is the hand of God. No. It is the hand of the recess lady. No. Finally, he said to his teacher, it is your hand. And holding back tears, she thought of all the hugs that she had given him throughout the year. Each one offered when he had been left out or was having a particularly tough day. As the old world passes away and the new world is upon us, remember, God is with us to wipe away our tears, to encourage us when life gets challenging or downright overwhelming. Often, I suggest to you that God uses us, you and me, to offer the hug, to wipe away the tear, to show up in the life of someone facing a difficult moment. Consider your hands this morning as we begin this new year and how you might use your hands to shine the light of Christ in 2021. I want to thank you for joining us this morning for this daily devotion and invite you to join us each morning at 1130 for a daily devotion.